Uh, my name is Olivia, and I'm here on behalf of um, National Korean American Service and Education Consortium, a.k.a. NACASAC. I'm sorry if people asked you so many times, but how is everybody feeling? Yes, we can? Yes, we can! Uh, That's Creole for yes, we can. How about this one? Hi, Suita! Okay, so it seems like you guys might know, but for those who don't, Harsu Ita is one way to say si se puede, or yes we can, or new kebab in Korean. Oh! Thank you so much, I was impressed by you guys. So where is the Harsu Ita in the immigrant youth movement today? You know, look around you, um, where is it? Right now, I know that people are shouting out Hai Suita in Chicago, in Los Angeles, in Philadelphia, and in so many more places. Last Sunday, in the midst of everything that's going on in Arizona, um, Hai Suita rang in Arizona when Korean Resource Center in LA organized the Solidarity Bus from Los Angeles to Phoenix in the 11th hour of Saturday night. There are people shouting out Hai Suita because one of them is David Cho, a student of the Korean Resource Center in LA who happens not to be only the first Korean American drum major of the UCLA marching band, but also, also the first undocumented student to ever carry that honor. There are people shouting out Hai Suita right now because many of them are students with Chicago's Korean American Resource and Culture Center who are dedicated to turning education from privilege into a right. There are people shouting out Hai Suita right now because many of them, uh, one of them is a member named Ju Hong of Oakland, California, who traveled to LA to join our van for March for America last month. How many of you guys were here in DC? Last one. But this is the sad part. Due to a freak storm in Texas, uh, they had driven over 20 hours and they had to turn around um, because there was a snowstorm. And um, as DJ Yoon, Executive Director of KRSD, lamented, for some it takes just six hours to fly to DC. Um, for others, it can take over 30 if they can come at all. And so while these youth really, really wanted to be here with you today, they were following, cheering, and being moved to action by the trail of dreams for months. They couldn't be here. However, distance didn't stop them from solidarity. Um, back in February of April, Fe February 27th, we did an 18-mile solidarity walk in Los Angeles through immigrant communities like Koreatown and East LA, all in the spirit of the Trail of Dreams. And as part of why I'm here, uh, it's not just for the ideal of social justice, as good as that is, um, but it's also for my friends like Ju, David. Um, Angela, and so many more from um, our youth groups, Akashia, Fish, Rise, Building Sisterhood members. So I'm, okay, one last thing. I'm also here, um, you know, who am I? Am I just a staff at an organization? Um, I'm actually here because my grandfather was the one who helped me understand those words, Hai Suvita, Si Se Puede, Yes We Can, Luka Bab. His name was Hwang Young Kap, my Harabaji, or Mr. Young Wing for those in America. Um, my grandfather lost his family in the outbreak of the Korean War, including his wife and all but one child, who was separated from him for the rest of their lives. But despite then building a successful life in South Korea, he left in 1976 because he was troubled by the crippled society under the dictatorship of President Park. My grandfather's philosophy was not just about success, but about true freedom and justice, uh, those very values that brought us all here to America. If he was alive today, he'd be here right now because this America, the way it is right now, the situations all over, is not what he relayed our roots for with heavy but hopeful hearts. Freedom and justice must be total. It cannot be just for some and not for all. Um, sadly, though, oppression doesn't always come from outside forces. It can also come from ourselves. And um, as most of you here are not Korean Americans uh, and having grown up in that community, I know that immigration status is something we don't talk about openly, if at all. Um, we often don't even know about the suffering of not just one, not just two, but one in seven of our Korean American brothers and sisters. That's why United We Dream is not just about a bill, but um, as important as that bill is, but about the people, the students who are courageous enough for, to stand for themselves, for their neighbors, and for the future of this country. Um, this larger vision, though, starts today, and today we're demanding to Congress and the President to pass Immigration Reform and the DREAM Act this year. Thank you.